about a topic that is very, very important, and it's women in business, and especially in powerful roles, CEO roles. So for those who don't know you, who are, everybody knows you, of course, <laughs> but I want to say thank you so much, Sue, for coming and letting me pick you up today. Oh, thank to, you for doing it. To Fine. our little roadside real estate. So as many of you know, Sue is ERA Corporate, ERA Real Estate's president and CEO, yes, Yay. which is so exciting. And you've been all over the world, and you were in Singapore two days ago, and now you're in my car in New Jersey. <laughs> so thank you so awesome. much. I appreciate that. So do you want to give us just a little bit of information um, about your role? I know you're very active with women in business, and, and a little bit of background about that. Sure. So, um, you know, obviously president and CEO of the brand. I've uh, been in this industry for about 20 years. Mm -hmm. uh, started in commercial real estate, which is really interesting from a female perspective, especially in New Jersey 20 something yes. years ago, um, and probably still today. Um, I'm active in the Women's um, Employee Resource Group at Realogy, so I run that. Um, actually, I just transitioned uh, the oversight of that to another ERA employee, oh, uh, which we're excited about. But it's really, you know, we really try and focus on understanding and promoting women and diversity of all types within the workforce because there's such a strong voice out there. Realogy, 70% of our employee base is female. Yes. And so there's a really strong need for that voice um, to be heard and uh, help understand the needs of women and other diversity groups uh, to move the business forward because it's such a huge component of our population that needs to be served. Well, I was reading an Inman article and I thought it was really interesting that said that, and, and I don't know the exact statistic, but majority of real estate agents are women yes but a majority of the leaders the CEOs the broker owners are men and how that really is changing but it's taking quite a while for that to change and it's interesting because it is a predominantly female driven business and I do feel like maybe they don't get the opportunity or maybe that's just perception that they don't get the opportunity to be in more of the CEO type roles yeah it is very interesting and I think there's a couple reasons for that one traditionally and sort of historically I think a lot of women got into the business as a part-time business right. or something else as an agent um, and never chose to evolve beyond that because they had other um, responsibilities because they had other or, responsibilities right. and, or doing and, well in sales right, right. And so and why should you right I mean in some people um, that's great right and then I think um, I don't think a lot of people enter this business understanding that there's an opportunity. I don't think a lot of people look at real estate and say, oh, I'm gonna go into residential real estate and eventually I'll be the CEO of a brand. Right. I just don't think there's a clear pathway for that and there's not a clear sort of, you, you kind of fall into it almost. That is um, true. Mm -hmm. And I think to that end, there's not a lot of CEOs in any businesses, really, that are, and that, that are, that are female, female, that are female, female, correct. Because generally in, in history, the men go to work and they're the nine to five type of thing. And the women would work around and be a little bit more flexible with having the kids and school and different things right. like that. Right. You know, I was reading too, which I thought was interesting. There's more uh, women. And I think this is just due to the fact that business has changed, you know, more women coming out of corporate backgrounds and then making a choice now to go into real estate. So less people are falling into real estate now making a choice. So maybe that's that's why the transition is happening I, yeah. I would tend to think you know luckily for me my mentor was my father and he's still my mentor to this day and he's a very strong businessman but he's given me the opportunity to lead our company and all of our employees that um, are helping there is one male who's awesome and he's been with us a long time I have to make mention just of him one. of course <laughs> but that's just one and then the rest are all really strong powerful women that yeah. actually bring other ideas up and, and more diversity and it's just been very um, empowering and, and incredible but I feel like I do when I talk to other brokers a lot of them are men yeah and and I would say the bulk of the industry is that way obviously and, and that's why we talk about it and that's why we have to make it more of a topic and, and allow people to understand it's an opportunity and I think one of the best ways to do that you know it's funny um, somebody I work with made the comment that they were asked about their millennial strategy and they said well I hire Millennials and Millennials want to work for Millennials and I think there's something to that as well like you talked about if you have a lot of strong women around you you're going to attract strong women, strong women right right exactly. and it's and just like success breeds success and you know any a player a players want to be around A players, right. be it male, be it female, be it whatever. And I think it's just ensuring that we in the business and in leadership provide those opportunities 
um, and that women really importantly are willing to go after it and to step That's up true. and to take it and, and say to, I want and it say I, I want it right. yeah and and I don't think we're generationally I think that's changing mm -hmm. but historically I think um, we weren't always taught to do that that's probably you know? true and and honestly and even what I was reading as well you know opportunities um, in real estate not at the level where you're a CEO and that's big corporate you know in realty and those types of levels but in residential real estate there really is more of the money to be made it's actually more of an aggressive position sometimes to be in the sales that's side right. rather than that's the management right. side because really there's not as much it's not as lucrative so in reading that it's actually women are not taking these positions they're, they're choosing, smartly yeah, choosing they're not smartly to, choosing not, not to. to there's a lot of headaches that come along with it right and oftentimes you're you're absolutely right the paycheck is smaller at the end of the day and right. so if you're gonna work that hard and um, it is an extremely tough business right. and Very you have to get up and every day and that speaks volumes about the caliber of women that we have in That's our industry right. Because you are tough and you get up every day and you go out there and you and you make it work and that's incredible And so right. I would say the challenge is more on the other side of enticing people to, to go into the that, leadership agree. roles right? I 100 How do you agree. step out of that and you know we talked about that before that for me I was in sales and I realized I didn't love it. I didn't have a passion for it you're more passionate I'm more about passionate about leading. helping others get yes. there and lead and giving them the tools and so I sh you got to find more people like that <laughs> yes which, which really really is difficult because like you said you're recreating the wheel every day you're really led by your motivation in sales because you have That's to right. get up and you have to make it happen for yourself the, it was funny you said like you know like attracting like so right now there is twice the amount of single women buying homes than males so I also think that that's interesting <laughs> if that, since that's um, a, a change yeah. in, in the buyer pool, if that's another opportunity for women because, you know, strong women will attract other strong women who are career women or single women who want to buy houses and they probably want to work with, you know, any great qualified agent, but maybe the women can kind of rise to the top and show their leadership in that way. Yeah, and there's probably an understanding there at a different level. I mean, you connect with people on different levels, and we all know this is a relationship business. Yeah, absolutely. And if you're a single female buying a home, and, and whether you're single, single, or you have a child, or whatever that may be, and you walk into an office, and there's a woman there that can relate to you or vibe with you in a different way, Might that's be a, a great level. There's a, a comfort connection. level, and, and you could have that with yeah. anybody, but I think that's uh, it's very interesting, right, that, that attraction and, and how that relationship works. And I love that you talked about the commercial factor because we do have a commercial division mm -hmm. in my office and I really do watch it. And that still is predominantly, at yeah. least in New Jersey, yeah. I could say, which yeah. we're a little bit different. <laughs> I understand that. But it, it's still predominantly a male-driven business. And sometimes I think there's huge opportunity in that segment of the business because just for creativity and thinking outside of the box and thinking in different ways and and I think that's very very interesting how that segment seems to still be very male dominated yeah, yeah it's very interesting very interesting so um, any tips or pointers for women other than speak up or or um, you know empower other strong women if you're a strong woman yourself for women in this industry you know I do think that's very important I think I think as women we need to really support each other mm -hmm. I think we need to support all diversity of thought mm -hmm. um, because I think we also could go too far the other way sometimes. oh sure absolutely um, you don't I, right yeah I think you know you I've always said I was fortunate enough to be raised um, to never be dependent upon anyone mm -hmm. right and to make my own way and that I could do anything I wanted and um, you know, I think I've had the fortunate, um, throughout my career, I've been fortunate to have strong men who allowed me to sit who at that, you know, who encouraged yes. me and encouraged my voice. And I think they, they, there's a lot of studies out there, or maybe it's anecdotal, that say how women tend to wait until they're asked. Mm. And I think we can't do that. I think you have to simply say, speak up, I'm speak interested. Speak up, have a voice, use your voice. And um, I think I put it in one of my chalkboard quotes, like don't wait to be asked, grab your seat at the table. Yeah, I yeah. think that's super Just important. Go for it. And I think in ERA and in a lot of the Realogy brands and in our marketplaces, there are a lot of great agents, period. I think our brand attracts a lot of really yep. great agents that are proactive, 
laser focused on their business, want the right tools. So we have a great brand, but we certainly have a great brand of strong women. We certainly do. That That's we can awesome. lean on. And, That's right. and um, I know even I can pick up the phone at any given time and, and call a lot of our strong women. Yep. Hey, I need to bounce this idea off of you. And they're right there to help you at that's any given right. point. So we that's do. It's awesome. An ex yeah. uh, awesome network. <laughs> so being from New Jersey, yes. one of my other favorite things is, and we've talked about this before, because <laughs> you're just incredible CEO and um, open to your brokers and your agents, which Absolutely. is you're approachable and you're great and friendly and and I really appreciate that but we've talked about music yes we have <laughs> oh boy and my question <laughs> has been are you a Jersey girl that likes Bruce Springsteen or are you a Bon Jovi Jersey girl it's very important that I know it's very, it's very very important it's <laughs> very it's one of the pressing issues of the day it is it is it and is. I would say without question or hesitation I'm a Bon Jovi girl yes, so yes. Well. Awesome. I am not a Bruce girl. I am a Jovi girl. Of course not. I wouldn't expect you to be. I would have yeah. loved to see you back in the day. Yeah. What you would wear to, you know. to to the numerous concerts yeah, I've been yeah, to. Sure. Yeah, there might be a picture somewhere. Too. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to we'll keep that it one buried. Out. <laughs> <laughs> so if it's okay by you, while I drop you off at the office, I think we need to rock out to some Jovi. Absolutely, I'm in. All right, let me let's get this ready to go. Okay. Okay. Let me find my music. So when you give love a bad name. I think I dance like this in the concert too. <laughs> I bet you did. <laughs> I think you're right like this. this. <laughs> That's why he know. always does this. <laughs> well, there's several songs on this album that I love. I don't yeah. know about you. Oh, Is I, there a favorite I, album? Uh, no, I'm in love with all of them. Okay. I mean, okay. I did just go to see him the last time he was around too. Oh, so. Aren't we a little old? This, no, no. <laughs> Thank you. So much fun. All right. Thank you for Bye. joining us. See you soon. Bye. Thanks.